Hi, welcome to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might be. I hope you are well and safe. Sorry, I've been absent from my channel for a few months. Some of you might have already guessed why, but I'll come to that a little later. Right now, I would like to express my heartfelt condolences to the families of those who have lost their lives in this nasty pandemic. Doctors, nurses, people who have been working so hard in the front line trying to save lives of people became victims themselves. May Lord Almighty rest their soul in eternal peace. Pandemic, pandemic, pandemic. Virus, virus, virus. The moment you switch on the TV, the first thing that you see and hear is pandemic. This is happening so much, I know news is important and we should listen to it. But that does not mean that we should just sit tight and not move on with life. I was coming to a point where I was getting really miserable. And I'm sure there are lots of people out there who are in similar situation as I am in. I decided to move on with life. Let's look at the positive side of pandemic. Nature is so beautiful. We haven't had the time really to ever stand, sit and look around at the beautiful nature. There's so much creation out there. The Lord has given us some beautiful things to look at but with our everyday life we've never had any time to sit and look around look what the Creator has given us absolutely free of charge watch at this image the lush green leaves blue sky formation of clouds so beautiful this is what I call creation but have we had the time to appreciate that sort of thing? No. Nairobi Highway, so beautiful. There's no traffic, no pollution. The quality of air is absolutely superb. Let's enjoy that. I have talked a lot about nature. Now let's bring photography into this. I am addressing people who have been attending my workshops this is the time when you can put pr into practice whatever you have learned out there look at this image the leaves the flowers so beautiful you know very well what aperture you used what shutter speed you use so now let's look at another image in the class we learn about what I call three pillars of success ISO, shutter speed and aperture this tree that you see over there you know very well what shutter speed you used or what shutter speed you should have used the aperture, the ISO you can take photograph of that tree during different times using different apertures, shutter speed, and you will see a completely different image altogether. In the class, we learn quite a lot about depth of field. This image shows clearly that the foreground is in focus, the background is in focus. So class, can you tell me what aperture did you use to capture that image? Look at this alocasia. This plant is so beautiful. I have to take a picture of this. Another example of depth of field. This elephant ear, so beautiful, absolutely crisp and sharp. The background is completely blurred. So class, tell me, what aperture, what shutter speed did you use? 
Remember, go back to your drawing board. Sorry, I have to go back to pandemic. I was listening to BBC this morning and they were announcing that lots of countries have opened up and have eased the lockdown. That's superb, that's great. At the same time, I'm also hearing that now they're talking about the second phase. So, is this COVID really going to stay with us? If it is, we don't have to just sit down, we have to move on with life. So my fellow photographers, pick up that camera which has been lying there collecting dust and start appreciating the beauty and start making nice images. What to do here, send me all your images, I'll have a look at them and give, give you the feedback on where you can make certain improvements. Let's work together. Having said all that, remember we have to bear in mind all the advice given to us by WHO and the Ministry of Health. Social distance, no shaking hands, not to move into heavy traffic places, and at the same time, enjoy life.